Today we are checking out Kerbal Space Program, the best space program simulator on the market and the only game where you can send innocent living things to the sun. That's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to send these Kerbals, well actually we are going to send as many Kerbals as possible in one trip on a field trip to the sun. What could possibly go wrong? So let's go ahead and get our space program started. Like any good space program, it is built on an infinite amount of cash. So Miraculously, we have inherited the most robust space program known to man with little Kerbal astronauts as our guinea pigs. Now the goal for this video is to see exactly how many Kerbals we can send in one single trip straight to the sun for science of course. I mean we need the research, we need the data, although it's probably a one-way trip. I don't see it being a, a return trip, but you never know. So we need to build our magic school bus so to speak. And the first thing you do when you build a ship in in that space program is pick your cockpit and we're gonna go with the biggest one this one has the biggest crew capacity out of all the cockpits which is four now that's not that many but we can add some more cargo to it or more crew space by using the mark 3 passenger module now this one a single one of these holds 16 Kerbals so there we go we have 20 we have room for 20 Kerbals already now my goal is at least a hundred so that's 20 that is 16 more so 36 this thing's already getting really long on us. We're close though, that's like 70. If we can get this thing into space. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Holy crap, this thing looks ridiculous. <laughs> what are the odds we can actually get this thing into space? Okay, well this carries a lot of Kerbals but has no way of actually launching itself into space. So that is what our next objective is. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. This thing is so long. It should not be able to get in space. We may have to redesign it, but we're gonna give it a shot. Maybe we should just do eight. I don't know if we can fit that. We'll try though. We're gonna use these big tanks here. <laughs> oh no, this is already looking ridiculous. <laughs> oh, if this works, I'm a genius. This thing costs 700,000, which is a lot in Kerbal Space Program. That is a, a crap ton, actually. Um, we need some aerodynamics, of course, so let's find a, a good nose cone. Beautiful. We don't need parachutes or anything like that. Like I said, this is a one-way trip. We need a second stage. I want to test this first. There's no point in doing the second stage yet if the first stage won't even get us there. So let's go ahead and uh, put in one Kerbal. Oh, we already got it. So Jebediah, Bill, Bob, and Valentina. Jebediah always dies. We will send him alone on this test trip. Because there's no parachutes, I think uh, we, we know what's going to happen with Jebediah here. But it's all in the name of science. So we're going to go full throttle here. Full quarter throttle. Honestly, I'm, we're surprisingly stable. These have gimbals on it, so I think I think that really helps. Our movements have got to be very, very minute in the atmosphere because this thing is fragile and will break apart. Jebediah taking one for the team, the ultimate sacrifice. It's going to be real interesting here in about 10,000 meters how the atmosphere pushes against this. Uh, the aerodynamic forces could really send us into a tumble, so we got to be careful. All right, 20,000, we're doing another little turn here. If this can achieve an orbit, then all we gotta do is add a second stage for them and that would should get us to the sun. This is pretty close. So now all we do is we wait till we get to our apoapsis, then we do one final burn, which should burn us into an orbit and that's all you need for your first stage. There you go. We have achieved an orbit. Perfect. Now the problem is <laughs> we left Jebediah. Look at his face. He knows he has realized the outcome of this situation. There is no way to get back. So he has no parachutes, no heat shields, no way to get back. So the only way he doesn't die is by staying in space or by some divine intervention. He does not burn up on re-entry. So we're just going to deorbit and this thing is going to burn up. Jebediah's ashes will be spread apart into the atmosphere in memoriam. He will forever be remembered. There we go. Did that deorbit us? That is the next question. Oh yeah. Easy. All right, we'll ditch the, the cargo, which just exploded. Doesn't really matter. And uh, we'll time warp to Je Jebediah's death. In the near future, this is going to hold nothing but Kerbals. <laughs> We're going to send them straight to the sun because they need to do it for science. Oh, Jebediah, pray to whatever God you believe in. You're going to need you're going to need help, buddy. This is going to be brutal. He's about to meet his match. 
We could have honestly saved his life. If we just put some parachutes, this would have been fine. I honestly didn't think we'd make it this far. I didn't think we'd actually achieve orbit, to be honest. But here at the Kerbal Space Program, for the Kerbal Sun field trip, we accomplished the impossible. Even if it means sacrificing the hardworking Kerbals who risked their lives going into space. It's for the greater good. Maybe we can do a last minute evac and he can parachute? I think they have parachutes, right? We can do this. Okay, maybe we can save them. Deploy shoot. It worked! Yes, Jebediah! You live to see another day. Oh my gosh. That actually worked. I forgot that they had uh, shoots for this reason. That's how we do it here at Kerbal Space Program. We cut corners and costs by not putting any parachutes on the return craft, forcing our Kerbals to manually evacuate and deploy their own personal parachutes. I mean, why have multiple parachutes? Easy. Easy. Oh, oh. Uh, you okay there, Jebediah? I think he's knocked out a little bit. He's fine though. Totally fine. He's like, why did I sign up for this? <laughs> nice job, Jebediah. You made it alive. We totally planned on that being the outcome. We definitely were not counting on you dying on this trip. Glad to have you back, buddy. <laughs> okay, is this ready for the sun trip? I don't know. Is that enough Delta V? That is that is the question. I think it is. 5,000 a lot. That's enough to get to the moon, which should be plenty to get to the sun. Because I think it's easier to get to the sun because of uh, the natural gravity and pull of the sun. So I think the next thing is we have to hire a crap ton of these stupid Kerbals. I mean, smart Kerbals, not stupid. We have 29 active Kerbals in our space program, but we are getting more. This is so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, this better go well. This is going to be a bad news headline if this does not go well. Kerbal Space Program launches 100 Kerb Kerbals into space. All die immediately. <laughs> 97, 8, 9, and 100. We need ones with more stupidity, that's for sure, to go on this trip. So if we can fit all these Kerbals in, then that is 100. So we hit fill, and it should auto-fill everything. It may take a second because of how many Kerbals this is. Yep, it's uh, it's definitely trying to figure out and compute how it's going to put 100 Kerbals into this automatically. The game's never been asked to do this before. Maybe we broke it already. Yep, the game broke when I decided to try to autofill them, so we may have to do it manually. We are pushing the boundaries of a freaking Kerbal Space Program already. Fix your game, damn it! I need you guys to allow me to have a mass genocide of Kerbals. Come on now. So I just need to start manually assigning them. Get in there. Pack them all in. I don't know how the game's gonna handle this. They may make me uninstall the game and never play it again for the travesty of killing all these Kerbals. It's so wrong but yet so fun. Okay, I sound like a psychopath. All right, chill. They're just going on a field trip, guys. Oh, there we go. Are we gonna make it to 100? If we can fit more, we're going for it, but the minimum was 100. That was the target goal. Boom. How many more spots do we have left? Oh, we got 16 more. Let's go. That is a lot of Kerbals. However many we we didn't put in there, these lucky individuals aren't going on the trip. 116 Kerbals in one spacecraft on a one-way field trip to the sun. Haul it out to the launch pad, launch this thing, and make history. I would have been a rocket scientist in another life, that's for sure. Lift off. And we have officially brought 116 Kerbals off of the ground. And they are on a one-way trip to the sun if all goes according to plan. So far, everything is nominal. Again, due to the nature and the pristine engineering job and the look of this rocket, we have to be very careful on our trajectory. Start pushing a little bit more horizontal. Everything is wobbling, but holding strong, which is good. We probably could have put some nose cones on these to make it a little bit more aerodynamic, but it's okay. We had to cut costs, you know? 21,000, everything going according to plan. This is going way too smooth. What's gonna happen? Something's gonna go wrong and 116 of these individuals are gonna die. Now we may not achieve the full orbit on this first stage because we did add more weight, but this is enough fuel to do the job once we get out of the atmosphere anyways. So the main thing is just getting out of the main part of the atmosphere. Oh no, we don't want to go down. We do not want to go down. Oh God, things are looking a little off here. We need to point this baby back up. Woo, this thing is so wobble wobbly. <laughs> okay, we have to let this settle for a second. Or this is going to blow up everything. I think we're okay. I think we're totally fine. And we are hitting 80,000 right now. So we're going to cut the engines. We have so much fuel left. 
This is actually going way better than I expected. <laughs> I'm excited. Probably not near as excited as these Kerbals. There's our target right there. The nice and beautiful and bright sun. We're gonna go land on it. We don't know it's a gas. We think it's a solid material, right? <laughs> I feel like a flat earth conspiracy theorist right there. The, the sun is indeed not a gas, but in fact, a solid which you can land on it. Especially if you bring a bus load of 116 Kerbals. <laughs> Sorry for any of you flat earthers out there. But I mean, look at it. This is proof enough. Kerbal Space Program displays Earth being round. And that is factual. You cannot argue against science, okay? All right, glad we got that taken care of. And this should create enough horizontal speed to keep us in orbit. And there we go. We have successfully put 116 Kerbals into orbit around Kerbin on a single flight. I'm actually already proud of that. And the mission's not even done yet. <laughs> Here we are, all of our Kerbals. <laughs> they're smiling now because they're excited they're in orbit. They won't be smiling in a little bit. They're strapped in, ready for the second leg of their mission. It's time to get down to business. The field trip to the sun will now start. Okay, so that will get us in orbit around the sun like we were a planet. A thousand delta V. So we're just gonna do this burn. Doesn't need to be too accurate, just in the general direction. So that will take us out of the Kerbin orbit. We will then be orbiting the sun. <laughs> Say bye, you're never coming back. We could turn this trip around. We could have second thoughts, but nope, I refuse. This is where we get sucked in by the gravity pull, gravitational pull of the sun. We have officially achieved orbit around the sun. Congratulations, another milestone for our program. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to land on the sun. How you guys look? They're still happy, they're, they're celebrating. Look at them, they're like, oh my God, no one has ever orbited the sun like this. We're making history, all 116 of us. The final burn. Hopefully we have enough fuel to accomplish this. Uh, it says we don't. That is a bummer. Wow, it really takes that much to get sucked in by the sun. We know what to do. We just need to get to the parapsis and then retro burn and we're not gonna have enough fuel. So I'm gonna have to use cheat codes, unfortunately. There's just no way we're gonna be able to get enough fuel out there, but it's fine. Who doesn't have cheat codes in life? I mean, we already have accomplished a lot by getting 116 Kerbals to space. That's, that's it. That's all the fuel. So we did not complete the mission without any cheat codes, unfortunately. Our story is not going to end here, though. We are getting these damn Kerbals to the sun. That was our mission, and I plan on achieving it. Okay, so we pull up our handy dandy cheat menu here. This is the debug console. Cheat infinite propellant. I think that's what we need here. That's pretty much it. That's the only cheat we're gonna do is just give us more gas so we can actually get to the sun. So basically, it takes a lot of fuel. You, you're going so fast, you have to slow down so you fall closer to the gravity will pull you towards the sun. So that's what we're doing here is we're burning off all of our speed. It just requires so much more fuel than we brought up here. I still think it's a pretty good feat getting this many Kerbals up here. <laughs> we're at 3 billion miles. That's a hop, skip, and a jump away. That's crazy to think how far that is. Like, that's just mind-boggling to me. Puts in perspective how small we are in this universe. The PE is gone, so that should be all that is needed to land on this solid planet called the sun. <laughs> this is so stupid looking. <laughs> so the sun is slowly going to get much closer. Things are going to get much hotter for our Kerbals. They wanted a summer vacation. They've got it, baby. Everybody's still all smiles aboard. <laughs> God, just, this is so stupid. <laughs> How did this happen? Whose idea was this? Oh, there's the sun getting closer and closer. Oh boy. The excitement is building for the Kerbals as the, the 116 Kerbal transporter inches closer towards the sun. We won't even talk about the fact that they have been in space for 229 days with no food, water, electricity, and they've been sitting in the same spots. You know, simulators are supposed to be about realism, and this one can be with the right mods and stuff, but I would say right now it is not very realistic. Poor guys, oblivious to what is about to succumb. And it's at this moment they realize that this may be a terrible idea. They can start seeing the shape of the sun and that it's nothing but flowing gas. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here's your view. I don't think anybody should be this happy about seeing the sun that close out of your window in your, 
in your bus transporter to the sun. Okay, our temperature is getting much, much brighter. I don't know how close we're gonna actually be able to get without blowing up, but we are definitely, definitely reaching the limits. Even without the temperature gauge, the nose here is turning red. Let's take a look from their perspective. Yeah, you keep smiling there. You keep looking at the bright light. Go into the light. I'm gonna head straight in, nose first. <laughs> Here's the view from the cockpit. <laughs> look into the light. There's the heat. You can see it. It's starting to get real red. You won't feel a thing, I promise. Remember, this is for science, and this is for the motherland. Oh my gosh. Things have escalated very quickly for our little Kerbals. Still happy. These guys are the most cheery people ever. I don't understand. As you can see, oh yeah, we're getting a bright, bright yellow on that uh, the tip there. Not a good sign. We are only 170,000 kilometers away from the sun, which is, I mean, for the sun, it's freaking close. Like, that is spicy. Not icy mic, spicy mic right now. I mean, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh. We just lost the nose cone. Oh, no. I regret everything. My poor Kerbals. Hold on. Maybe after you get past the heat. Oh, there it goes. They're gone. Everything we've known. 116 Kerbals just met their demise. These poor Kerbals, they just had no idea and no choice in the matter. But we got so much closer to the sun than I thought we would, which is pretty awesome. Unfortunately, we did have to cheat to get there. Maybe in the next video, we won't have to. Speaking of the next video, if you wanna catch that one, be sure to subscribe to the channel, but I will see you all in the next one.